morning, and welcome to What AM, your daily newscast of world, national, and local news. We also have entertainment, sports, campus events, and your daily weather outlook. I'm Nathan Bowman. Daily COVID-19 deaths are spiking to levels not seen in months. Data from John Hopkins, Johns Hopkins University shows more than 2,000 Americans died from the virus Tuesday. It's the highest daily death toll since May and the 21st time the United States has surpassed that number. The country has recorded more than 259,000 deaths since the beginning of the pandemic, the most in the world. The drug maker behind OxyContin is pleading guilty to exasperating the opioid crisis. Purdue Pharma chairman Steve Miller entered the plea on behalf of his company today to three criminal charges. They, in they include providing incentives to doctors for writing more op opioid prescriptions. Although the plea agreement reached last month called for $8.3 billion in penalties, the federal judge overseeing today's hearing is holding the company liable for just $225 million. The CDC estimates 450,000 people died from opioid overdoses between 1999 and 2018. Cedar Rapids has announced its derecho debris removal and tree trimming operations are suspended until next Monday. The workers have been on the job since August 10th when the severe storm blew through the area. 35% of Cedar Rapids streets have been swept of debris as of Tuesday. About 73% of the tree trimming work has been completed. City officials said they want to let the workers have time off for the, for the holiday and still get the job completed before severe winter weather arrives. The coronavirus continues to spread in Iowa. More than 500 people with COVID-19 have died in the state this month, and 2,224 overall, according to the State Department of Health. There have been 82 cases added in the last 24 hours in Woodbury County, and one additional death of an elderly female. More than 4,500 residents of long-term care are infected with the virus, 143 nursing homes reported coronavirus outbreaks today. When we come back, Tyler Euchner will take a look at your Wit TV weather and entertainment news. Stay with us. Western Iowa Tech's Video and Media Production Program has been awarded an Upper Midwest Emmy Foundation 2019 Student Production Crystal Pillar Award. This award was presented by the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences for Excellence in Production. I work out every day. COVID won't kill I'm me. I'm 24. COVID won't kill me. I have antibodies. COVID won't kill it's me. It's been a long week. COVID won't kill me. I'm 25. COVID won't kill me. I'm partying outside. COVID won't kill me. I don't me. need to wear a mask around my friends. COVID won't kill I'm me. I'm 23. COVID won't kill me. If I haven't gotten it yet, COVID won't kill me. I'm young. COVID won't kill me. Famous last words. Don't let them be yours. Socially distance. Mask up, America. Even though there is so much against us, you will see me wearing a face covering. And even with my face covered, you will see me as a son, as a friend to everyone I meet, as a fighter for change, as a woman who stands up for what I believe in. So join me in wearing a face covering to help stop the spread of the coronavirus. Because this is one small act of kindness that has the power to bring us all together. Welcome back. In entertainment news, co comedian Dave Chappelle's comedy sketch series on Netflix is no longer streaming on Netflix. The comedian confirms yesterday that he, that he requested Chappelle's show to be pulled from the streaming, streamer. He revealed the news in all Instagram in an Instagram video called Unforgiven, which included f footage from a recent stand-up gig during the performance. He, he clicked. He claimed that he never got paid after leaving the show owned by Via Combs. Chappelle went went on to say it was perfectly legal that he that Via Combs didn't have to pay pay him because he signed contract, but but added it didn't feel right that he worked that he that his work could be streamed without being paid. Star Wars Mandalorian toys 
are all the rage this year, but you might want to stay away from the dark saber sword. One, one watchdog group says it can poke an eye out, a list revealed by Wor World Against Toys causing a har harm, says the dark saber is among the 10 worst toys of 2020. Also making this year run down, years run down the Calico Critters nur Nursery Friends, which can be a choking hazard. S sci fi Slime is on the list as well, as the group says it could cause chemical burns. Taking a look at today's weather, today will be a, pat will be a pat patchy fog with a high near 39. Today, tonight will be mostly clear with a low around 28 degrees. And tomorrow will be sunny with a high, high near 45. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to check up on the latest WIT TV program at our website and our YouTube page. Have a great day.